you guys struggle on that last boss fight? Um, I no. think I had to fight Jasper twice, and then uh, Lord of Shadows, I think I had to beat him like three times. First time for Jasper and Lord of Shadows, but that's because I had done so much side stuff and going to yeah. the uh, Slime Island. Oh, I got yeah. so many levels early on that I just pushed through the, like it was nothing. The, I didn't even, we can get into this, is the fun size forge. I didn't even use the fun size forge till almost the end. Oh, I used that Jeez, every chance dude. I could. <laughs> yeah, so did I. As soon as I got the falchion blade, dude, I upgraded that shit immediately. That game, yeah. that weapon became uh, used pretty much the entire game. Yeah, I used that one too. With a dual especially wield. when you get that second one, dual wield with that dual four attacks, dude. <laughs> it's so cheap. It's so broken, yeah. and especially yeah. when you start using abilities with them too, and they start yeah. doing pulling off more of them. It's like, yep. oh, dude. yeah. Dragon Quest Eleven is probably the easiest in the series, in my opinion. Uh, from what you guys have yes. played, yes. <laughs> from yeah, I know it we ramps like up the whole a lot. Ending, you're supposed to be at yeah. least high nineties, if not ninety nine. I was max level, yeah, and I struggled. But I won't spoil why. So, it's... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. What was the hardest boss fight for you guys before we talk about the story? Real quick. I think probably the last one. Yeah. The yeah. last one was definitely the hardest for me, but I did struggle at the painting chick, but only because I forgot that I could move around. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is her name again? It's a pun. It was the the puppet painting chick. I right. can't remember what her name is. That we're forgetting about. We'd... Yeah, when it's I got to the long, boss, but... I was like, I wonder if the the guys got that joke. I kept standing. I kept standing in her fucking one attack, and I was like, Oh yeah, I can move my guys. <laughs> but it, but it has very very little effect. Maybe it might increase things from like going from oh, ten damage to eleven damage. But moving around doesn't change shit in the battle. It doesn't. Uh, it makes it so you can dodge some attacks, especially with the painting chick. Like there's uh, there's a spot where she attacks specifically, and if you are out of that area, you don't get hit by it at all. Huh. I don't okay. think I ever the, realized that one boss fight. She has that one laser beam uh, attack that she uses, and you can dodge that completely. Okay, oh. and that that's the one that hits your entire party for like fifty damage or so. Her name okay. was Dora in gray. <laughs> yeah, Dorian Gray. Yeah. That made me laugh. <laughs> yeah, me too. Phenomenal was the name of one of the phenomenon. Terms. Yeah, phenomenon. Stuff like that. The, the puns were a one in this one. Just can't remember them right now. It's been too long since we I played. How about you guys? Uh, There's some pretty great puns. I think I finished in April. Yeah. So it's been so, a while. It's Three been months. a while for me too. Yeah. But they are great. It's it's very punny. I remember laughing a bunch when I was playing the game. Yep. And along with all the Oh, the dialogue was stuff. great in yes. this one. The dialogue is so good in Except this one. Except for Eric. That's right. I'm Eric a lot of doesn't, hate for this. Yeah. Eric is bland. Okay. The yeah. accent isn't bad. It's just it's Eric, weird. Well, the, the, his voice actually did bother me a little is bit. Is he from Brooklyn? It was mostly... <laughs> Boston. <laughs> Boston. <laughs> it was mostly like... He just... He didn't have a lot of substance. Like, all the other characters were like no. full of life and they, you know, they... You, they had definite personality. Eric, yep. though, was like... Eh. He just loses his memory. Like, that's his arc. Well, yeah, yeah, you get that specific arc. But even when you, like, first meet him, like, and he, you know, you got to help him out and do that stuff and yeah. talk to his friend and all that stuff, he just doesn't... It's weak. His enti if, if I feel like his entire... Everything you do with him is based on the people around him. It's true. Like his friend and then his sister. sister. Like it's never about himself. It's always about someone else. Yeah. Oh, that was a boss fight I struggled on. His, his sister? sister. Oh yeah. When she turns you to gold. Yeah. It's a yeah. Fight. That one was pretty brutal. But yeah, I, I, don't I remember agree with troubles, you. But that was to deal with the. You don't remember the the so. dude who turns you to gold? I remember. I'm saying it just wasn't difficult because of how much high in levels I was. I was just slaughtering through I mean, it wasn't bosses. too bad, but, like, having two of your guys get turned into gold was a huge pain in the dick. Yeah. Because it's basically like, the two well, she buffs, need. too, and she yeah. just starts destroying you. Mm. I guess it depends on who's in your party, too. Yeah, because Eric is weak. So Who did you guys use in your party? 
Mostly to begin out with, it was always Rab, Veronica, and Serena. And then I eventually switched out, like, obviously after what happened to Veronica, I switched over to Jade, but I still kept, like, Rab and Serena in the party for the most part. Um, I think my final party was Hero, yeah. Serena, Jade, and Hendrick. Hendrick, huh? Hendrick is a beast defensively. Dude, he is. He's a beast defensive, and he has a huge amount of damage. Him and and Jade heal you too. So him him and Jade were like the huge damage dealers, and I and I would like off heal with Hero and Serena. Right. I just liked all my boss for other things, so that's why I kept Rab in there because yeah, Rab was. And then I Serena was the healer, and Rab was the freaking buffer man. He was. I switched halfway to uh, the big swords with Hero too, and he started doing oh oh, yeah, Yeah. buckload of damage. (laughs) I did that from the start. Yeah, Uh, I used Hendrick, Jade, Eric. Surprisingly, yeah, you were talking about his high damage output. Such good abilities. He critically strikes people. I don't oh, yeah. remember what what they're called. But. Eric with the Fauchin Blades and the critical upping on yeah. his uh, stat board. He's got dual it's wielding. It's disgusting, dude. He does so much damage. Yep. I know. It's just, he's so weak defensively. And then uh, the Luminary. Just, yeah, he is. get killed the next turn. So Hendrick was so my healer. Really, it'd be good for like a death blow attack. You're like, oh, I got you know one ch- last chance here. He's my last person to go with. Let's run all the buffs and then kill somebody for like... Well, that's how you kill the output, put, the but. metal slimes on that island. Use right, Eric. right. There's tons of methods yep. to go about that. Well, that's what because, I did. Anyway. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's got the uh, metal slash ability, which will almost automatically. That's hit. not even his best one. Right, but he'll almost always hit a slime with that. May not be a crit. He's hit, got one that at least do one or two. He's got damage. one that's a crit every time. Yeah, and that's his best one, I think. Oh yeah, there's that one that Jay does that's crits every time. It's like the thunder drop or whatever. Oh, uh, it doesn't always hit though. His always hits. Oh, uh, she always hit for me. She oh, only really? missed like five times the Jeez. entire time I used that move. I got so good RNG with that move. Gosh. Yeah, I use Jade because she multi-hits everybody with her kicks. Yeah. So she was broken too. Yeah, I love that about uh, switching to the big sword with the luminary where he does the helio chopper or whatever. Oh, yeah. And then, and then it fucking, like, it's the entire section. Yeah. Oh, it's geez. very satisfying combat as far as gameplay goes. It is. There's yeah. A bunch of cool epic animations to go with each of the skills and abilities. All right, so let's talk about the story real quick. So what did you guys think? Overall, I think it was the best story out of any Dragon Quest I played. Yeah, I agree. It 100% is so good. Like, every... uh, All the arcs with all the characters, like, after you... um, After the world is destroyed, basically, and you, like, go have to find your party again, and they go through all this, like, emotional shit. Like, you get back Silvando, and he's trying to, like, bring smiles to everybody. He's the first one you get back. And then you go to, like, his... uh, To meet his father... And then he has that kind of like emotional thing where his yeah. father like accepts what he wants to do, exactly. and he's like, "Hey, you didn't you didn't do what you promised me you were gonna." Yeah, that was so you cool. gotta so you gotta go do this. Yeah, that part was awesome. Yeah, and then, I don't uh, get the hate for Silvando. I don't know. I don't. Know. He's. I, I think it's he's because a he's guy, like, but he's cool. I think it's because like he's one of those really kind of femi. Oh hi there! I hope you enjoyed this clip from Puff Puff Hour. A Dragon Quest podcast. If you happen to like what you see, you should subscribe. We have full podcast episodes detailing the main series of Dragon Quest 1 through 11. Oh yeah, and if you like the content, you should t- check out our other shows from All Out Geekdom Entertainment. We have Nude Clan and Ultima Final Fantasy, the ultimate Final Fantasy podcast. Or, you know, Dragon Quest. <laughs>